Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I want to show you one of the probably coolest tools in Affinity Photo that most people don't even know about. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Also on a side note, we smashed that 30,000 subscriber goal. So I want to thank you for your love, for your passion, for your dedication to build this channel here on YouTube and the community over on Facebook. And it was an amazing journey with you over the years. And I'm really humbled by all of your passion and love and hope I can create a lot more amazing tutorials for you to help you on your artistic journey. So thank you for everything, my friends. Let's get started with the tutorial. The tool we're talking about today is the undo brush tool. And if you have seen it, you might be wondering what it is. It is kind of frustrating to use if you don't know how. I will make it super easy for you to understand. So this tool is based on snapshots. What are they? First of all, I've created an extra video about snapshots that I will link in the video description, but I will also show you here a little bit about that. So over here, you see the tab for snapshots. If you don't have that, as always, if you don't have a tab, go to view and then studio. And over here, you can see snapshot. Make sure you make a check mark next to that, right? Okay, so if you have an empty canvas, Put in your pictures and then create your first snapshot. If you open up an image where the image is already on your canvas, you don't need to do that because the background is the basically original state of that image. All right. So now we are going to create some snapshots. And that means we are going to create some looks here, some styles, some cool like editings basically. So let's go for example with a live filter for um, where is it half tone down here. I'm gonna go with line. You don't have to do the same thing. I just want to set up something cool that we can play with in a second. Uh, let's go for soft light here. So we have this kind of scan line look here. I will reduce that a little bit in the opacity and then also I will make that look um, black and white like this. Let's play a little bit with the adjustments. That looks good. Okay, I will keep it like that and I will create my first snapshot. The way I do this is down here. I have this camera icon with the plus on top of it. This is an add snapshot. I will call this zero one like so. And now look at that. If I select background, so it's blue highlighted, this other camera with the arrow pointing back into basically the history, the past will light up. I can click on this. This will reset this to the original state of my image or my canvas. All right. So let's make a second one here real quick. Let's say we can go with HSL to give some kind of this bluish light in the face like so. That looks pretty good. Uh, maybe we do some adjustments for the levels here to bring a little bit more contrast onto that like so. Uh, yeah, let's keep it like that and make another of our snapshots. I will call this zero two and just for the fun of it, we will create a third of those. Imagine now I make very simple snapshots. Imagine you have made a lot of adjustments 20, 30 different layers in the snapshots for adjustments for life effects. You can do that, of course. So uh, what are we going to do next? Uh, let's go with a, a let's say uh, a motion blur like so. Give me some nice blur to the side. Yeah, that's good. So like I said, this is just a very simple um, adjustment. You can do more and think about a complex look stuff like that. OK, now I go back. To my original, I click background, I click here on restore snapshot. So I'm here now and now here comes the magic. And here also comes the part that frustrates a lot of people when trying to use the tool. You select the tool. It works like a brush, but nothing happens. Why? You need to select one of your snapshots. Now look at that. If I click here to highlight that, 
again nothing happens because you need to click on the camera icon and then again nothing happens this really can drive you mad why does nothing happen because you have to select your image over there in the layers like so and now you can see if I mouse over that area I get a preview of that so now it works so this is how complicated this is implemented but now as you can see I can paint this in here and I can make amazing like really complex designs from my historic snapshots let's switch over to the second one and you can see I can now paint this in over here when you go a little bit overboard like that well just go to your original state which is the background and then maybe I want to make my brush a little bit smaller you can see I can simply paint this back as if this was a mask so you can go forward backward any way you want to create the look you want to have here isn't that amazing let's go to the third one I have some motion blur here on the side of the glasses or such play around with that you can basically make a collage of art styles by the way today we're gonna end with some cool music see you soon have a good time and thanks again for your support love and dedication bye